sun Searching for a longer day People feel it Hello YouTube, so today we're gonna remake the scary maze game in Unity 3D So first what you want to do <clears throat> Go to File New Scene And let me not, I'm not gonna save that Okay, then um in the description down below there should be assets make sure to download them before you <clears throat> actually open up unity and make sure to hit the subscribe button all right now once you've done that go to file new scene and you should have a new scene then go to main camera instead of go to clear flags uh change it to solid color and let's make the background black so now what you want to do add the qb asset <clears throat> add the qb asset and then let's duplicate that actually let's not duplicate it yet let's work on the colliders on this one so go to physics box collider and oops that's not the box collider let's scale it to where we can see it zero So I can't see the box collider. Oh, my bad. So go to scene. And now we should see the box collider. All right. Let's make it thin. And let's move it to the top. Okay, now let's go to right click on the box collider, copy component, then add new component physics, box collider, then paste as values and then drag it down again to the bottom this time okay now on the top here that's where uh, our player is gonna go through so we want to make a little space for that so let's go to the top box collider let's scale it down on the x-axis All right, I think that's enough. Let's move it like this. Right there. All right, that's good. That looks good. Now, let's go back to game. Let's duplicate this. Duplicate. All right, let's fix the other colliders for these other box colliders here. So, for this one, we're going to make him enter from here. He's going to enter from here. So let's go to this collider. Let's move it on the X all the way to the right. All right. And this one, we're just going to leave. No. He enters from here, finishes off from there. So let's do this. Let's size it up on the X axis at the top. Let's scale it up. Once you scaled it up at the top, let's scale it down at the bottom. Given the player room to enter from here. Okay, now what we want to do, let's duplicate this cube and rotate it on the Z axis, negative 90 degrees. And then let's scale it down on the X axis. Okay, that looks good. So we have the player is going to pass through here. All right. Scale. Scale. Oops. Let's do this. A little bigger. Till the colliders touch. So that's about good. All right. Let's duplicate that. We need it over here. Oops. All right, let's click that. All right, that's good. So now what we want to do, select all the cubes, go to scene, then drag it down a bit. So right there. Now let's select the four cubes and drag them into the main QB sprite so it's gonna parent them all right so once you've done that 
let's just add let's go to um, let's see let's add our player go to scene add the player which is C you can rename it later on all right and then order and layer put one and let's change the color no let's leave the color of the player let's change the color of the QB sprite so select the QB sprite let's make it light bluish like that all right there we have it now the C let's change that to player and let's go back to QB sprite and make sure on the box collider you select is a trigger go back to player add physics sphere collider go back to scene zoom in to where you can see the collider and let's scale it down all right so now what we want to do let me just add another QB this is gonna be the edges or the finish now let's make it at the start and the finish all right let's say one put it in order and layer put one all right let's duplicate that and let's move it to the finish I think that's where the finish is yeah that's where it is all right so now what we want to do here let's name the first one start and the next one finish start finish all right now we're gonna start scripting so select all the QBs all right let me do that select all the QBs then go to add component new script and let's name it destroy and make sure it's C sharp no we don't need a capitalize D destroy C sharp double click it and let's open the script up <clears throat> all right let's let it load all right it's loaded now still loading actually this one's simple all we need to do let's delete the update function and say void on trigger enter trigger enter parentheses and say collider in the parentheses type in collider other okay brackets and we're gonna say destroy parentheses other dots game object okay and then we're gonna say application dot load level parentheses double quotations two all right let's save that script and let's now add a drag script so we can move our player so go to player add component physics rigid body um, freeze rotation on all the axes we don't want to use gravity then go to new script and just say control make sure it's C sharp too let's open it up so this one we're gonna start with float distance equals 10 okay now we're gonna erase this we don't need any of this say void on mouse drag parentheses brackets and we're gonna say vector 3 mouse position okay then nope oops that doesn't make sense equal new vector 3 and then now we, we're gonna input our mouse position input dot mouse position dot x comma input oops dot mouse position dot y comma distance all right we got that part let's go to the next one let's say vector three 
OBJ position equal camera oops camera dot main dot screen to world point and then mouse position oops in the parentheses mouse position all right now last but not least transform dot position equal obj position all right let's save it okay unexpected symbol and destroy what is this one for oops i forgot to put the semicolon or colon i always get that mess mixed up all right every everything should be fine we don't have any errors so now let's try it out let's click play we can move our player and when we hit a wall you see the player deletes so oops we hit a wall it deleted all right so now what we want to do let's save this scene as one go to f uh, file new scene and this is going to be the scene where we have the scary girl and the scream so let's zoom in wow okay we have that let me zoom down a little so you get to see her whole face all right let's scale it up like that and let's put the scary noise and now let's save the scene as two and let's go to file build settings let's add scene number one first and then go to scene number two add scene number two all right why did i save it as two because here i put on trigger enter destroy the game object once the ball or player is destroyed we want to load level two if i named it three then i'm gonna have to name the scene three so it can work all right now let's go and let's give it a try all right i'm gonna put my volume up a bit i don't know if this is my mic volume or computer volume okay let me try okay so you guys get the point and okay thank you for watching that scared me a bit um hit the subscribe button um i should be uploading more game remakes soon so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe Light is gonna come The birds have just begun We will always take a step